Well, I just got done making a video of my electrolysis tank, which is for rust removal. And I thought while I'm in the middle of making videos, I might as well show everybody my shop here. Um, the shop's in the middle of being rebuilt. Here's the door to leave. I'm in the boiler room of a big 10-story building down in the basement, and uh, that's where all that stuff is. I actually have access to a hose right over there, which is nice. So, come in here, and I've been tearing out different walls and and uh, enlarging this. This used to there used to be a wall here that I just actually I'm not even done tearing down. Just uh, tour started yesterday tearing this out to make a uh, four and a half extra feet or so. But like an idiot, I did not take before and after photos. But right here, from that pink pillar all the way over to here, was a huge fuel tank, fuel oil they used to fill back in the 20s when this building was built. We cut that puppy out with a cutting torch. Took forever and uh, the tank was about a foot away from this brick wall and in between the tank and the brick wall was piled all the way up about six feet high full of sand. I have no idea why. So I had to haul all this sand out a little bit at a time up to the dumpster and then I couldn't even fill the dumpster because it would be too heavy. But after a couple weeks of this, we got it done, got the tank out. This back here was another room. Um, I tore the wall out and there was a lower ceiling here, tore that all out. And uh, on the other side of this pillar was more bricks. And I had to tear all those out. So I'd love to get this corner out, but right now we can't. We, there's storage on the other side from for other people that work over there. So. I guess this is what you call my rat hole. I'm still working on stuff and uh, the drill press that I've been working on forever. And But the plan is um, I got to figure out where to put this big old air compressor. That's 220 so I have to run 220 and uh, get that out of the way. But right over here is where I'm going to put the big table saw. We have a unisaw at a shop that we used to have. It's um, it's still sitting over there, but until we get our electrician friend to run some electrical for us, we don't have anything really. The table saw will go there, and I'm thinking of putting this radial arm saw right next to that pillar because of the way the arm slides, if I put it right next to it, it would, uh, it would be a good use of space. And then for really long rips, uh, since there's that brick wall over there past that bandsaw, um, that'll limit the length of rips I can do on the table saw. So I thought, well, we could use the uh, uh, the radial arm saw to rip down any any really long pieces that we have. Sometimes we need to rip down baseboard just a little or something. So then over here, behind this pile of plywood, I have a section of maple bowling alley that I got free on Craigslist. Uh, I saw some guy selling five foot sections for 150 bucks. This is a 10 foot section. And I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make that my big workbench. Put the big workbench in the middle here. And then, uh, and then after that, we'll just have to figure out where everything goes. Where to put the bandsaw, the drill press. Um, so I've got, <clears throat> this is gonna be multi-use. This shop's gonna be for building maintenance, uh, which is what I do here. Me and another, well there's a few of us that do building maintenance from rebuilding rooms to trying to keep stuff up to fire code. But um, also there's a lot of people that from our church that, that live in this building that I'm hoping they can come down with their, maybe come down with their boy and build a birdhouse or something like that. So it's going to be a multi-use type of thing. Wood shop plus you know, we've got paint supplies and junk like that that just got to figure out how to get it all to mesh without everything getting in each other's way. But um, that's what it's going to be. So, uh, yeah, that's what's happening. Um, got parts bins like crazy full of all sorts of hardware and stuff that I've collected. Um, 
little hinges and whatever that I'm hoping that some of this will be useful for people to use to build whatever it is they're going to build. So anyway, that's as far as I am at this point. Um, sure is fun. I've, I've had the opportunity to be done for a month and a half or so tearing out walls and rebuilding and stuff so I've, uh, I've enjoyed it. I, I count myself quite lucky. Um, once we get the table saw and this air compressor hooked up I think it'll be more of a real shop at this point. It's just kind of still in the building process. Um, and then we'll work on lights and other cabinetry and you know where to keep extra lumber and stuff. I've got a little bit of headroom up there. I don't want to fill it up too much because I need I want space to turn boards over and stuff. So as you can see, it's pretty low ceiling. But, uh, oh, and then I'm thinking of putting dust collection over here because right up there, and if we go all the way up there, that goes straight to the alley. So I want to explore what it would take to put a hopper type thing and if the hopper can blow, like, you know, catch all the sawdust and then blow any other air out into the alley or if that's not kosher or what, you know. So, i uh, got some research I have to do and uh, figure out how to make it work. Um, but it sure is a lot of fun. And it's a lot of space. I'm, I'm pretty happy. I see some of the shops that these guys are working out of and... I count myself really blessed to have so much space and uh, so yeah that's that so I hope you enjoyed this silly little video and uh, see you later